Okay, so in my hands right here, I am holding an AMD B450 motherboard and on the other hand, I am holding an Intel B760M motherboard. Okay, so what's the difference between these two motherboards and why do they have these particular names and numbers? Now, if you watched my last video, you remember that I talked about why there is no motherboard cross compatibility between Intel and AMD CPUs. And in the video, I did mention that motherboard chipsets do also contribute or rather are a reason for incompatibility. So in today's video, I'm going to be going deeper into what motherboard chipsets are and why they actually matter when it comes to choosing a motherboard. So I want you to think of a motherboard chipset as the brain of your motherboard and its function is to control things like which CPU and RAM are supported by your motherboard, overclocking options, the number of PCIe lanes for your GPU and SSD and USB, SATA and NVMe storage support. Basically, your chipset decides what your motherboard can and cannot do. So choosing the right motherboard is super important. Now, I do not want to overcomplicate this topic. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown of what the chipset names are mean for both Intel and AMD motherboard. When it comes to Intel motherboard chipsets, they come in four main categories, namely Z series chipsets. An example here will be a Z790 or a Z690 motherboard. And this class of Intel motherboard chipsets are usually best for gaming and overclocking. B series chipsets like the B760 and the B660 offer no CPU overclocking, but still, are great for gaming and productivity. H-series chipsets like the H770 and the H610 are mostly found on entry-level motherboards, which are usually best for budget builds and office PCs. And finally, we have the W-series motherboard chipsets like the WZ790 motherboard, which are meant for workstations and extreme power users. Okay, so for AMD, first up, we have the X-series chipsets like the X670 and the X570 motherboards, which offer full overclocking, PCIe Gen 5 support, and are very good for high-end PC builds. B-series chipsets like the B450 and the B550 motherboards offer a balanced option for both gaming and productivity. Whereas for A-series chipsets like the A620 and the A520 motherboards offer no overclocking but are a great option for budget builds. TRX and WRX chipsets like the TRX50 and the WRX80 are reserved more for thread reverse use, which are usually found in extreme workstation PCs. Now, hopefully this information made it easier for you to know what to look out for when choosing to buy your motherboard for your PC build. And just out of curiosity, in case you do not know what a motherboard chipset looks like on your motherboard, it is usually this thing covered by a heat sink. And if you're still not sure on which motherboard is best for your build, do not worry as you can always visit our shop located along Kemadi Street at Old Mutual Building, room 45 on the 4th floor. Additionally, you can have a chat with us through our website where you can browse through our catalog and remember our website is esgaming.co. Dot ka. Tell us what you think about this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share this video with your friends and anyone who might be interested in this information. Till then, I'll see you in the next video.